Okay, so the Donut Dude says that they do gaming content. The goal of the channel is to entertain and help people improve. The question is, hey, Nick, thanks for all you do. I have a small channel, 18 subscribers, and my aim is to reach 20 by 2021. Um, I'm feeling confident. Do you have any tips for gaining subs for a small channels like mine? So if you're trying to reach two more subscribers by 2021, you got to set bigger goals. Like this is going to sound kind of weird, but um, one thing that that I heard people talk about um, – uh, like a long time ago when I was a kid is they're like, you know, like you want to shoot for the stars and as like a worst case scenario, you'll like land on the moon, right? It sounds corny. But the idea is like, if you're just trying to get two subscribers between now and 2021, maybe it's 200, maybe you left out a zero. But the idea is like, you want to, you want to, you know, set the goals higher because if you set the goals higher then that creates more drive because you have to do more in order to achieve those bigger goals, right? So you have to dedicate more time. You have to dedicate more learning. You have to dedicate more application to what it is that you're doing. You have to study what it is that you're doing more in order to achieve the higher result that you're after so because of that set your goals extremely big even to the point to where they're almost unrealistic and by doing that you're going to help give yourself more drive to actually you know see those goals through two is the thing that you need to do in terms of gaining subscribers for a small channel like yourself and again i'm going to bypass your question and say that you should not necessarily if you're just getting started you have 18 subscribers the best thing that you can think of right now is not how do i get 18 subscribers or how do i get 200 subscribers on my youtube channel the best thing that you can think about right now is what can i do to get people to click on my videos more what can I do with my thumbnails and titles to get people to click on my videos more and be satisfied with the result that they get once they actually get into my video content? So you're not clickbaiting them, but you are making your content from the outside, your thumbnail and title intriguing enough to get them to want to click on it, right? Focus on that. And then once they click on it, are you meeting their expectation in the video content? Those are the things that you should be focused on right now way more than trying to get like a certain subscriber count. Because if you focus on those things, then the subscribers are going to come, right? Because the, so I'm, I'm, I'm listening to an audio book right now called uh, Ready, Aim, Fire. And, or Ready, Fire, Aim, I think is what it is. And, uh, and I'm, I'm just going to double check just for, for that. And I'll show you the, the, the thing here so you can see what it is. But, but one of the things that they're talking about here, and this is kind of like an old concept, like if you've done any type of business for yourself, like you, you know, this is like, the thing I'm getting ready to tell, tell you is common sense, but for everybody else, yeah, ready, fire, aim is the uh, is the name of that. But basically, um, with that particular book, one of the things that they're that they're talking about is they're talking about the importance of like the sale, right? Like thinking of the sale, how are you going to actually sell? Like if I'm selling coffee cups, like if I'm if I'm going into business making coffee cups, and, and I'm going to wrap this into YouTube, bear with me. But like if I'm going into business selling coffee cups, before I even make a coffee cup, I got to think about how am I going to sell this thing. Right. I got to think about how like what like what avenues am I going to take to get this in front of people to actually get them to convert into sales? Like that's what I got to think about, because if I'm not thinking of sales first and I'm just thinking of the coffee cup and making the coffee cup awesome and building an office and growing, you know, getting a bunch of employees and all that stuff then I'm omitting the most important part, which is generating revenue. Right. So when it comes to YouTube, when you're focused on like, hey, how do I just get subscribers? You're missing the key component which is in order to convert somebody into a subscriber, which if you take that same reference, you're converting them into a sale, right? So instead of converting them into a sale, you're converting them into a subscriber. But in order to convert them into a subscriber, you got to think of how you're going to get your, like how you're going to get them in to what it is that you're doing in order to actually convert them into a subscriber in the first place. So in order to do that, you have to be able to draw them in through your thumbnail and title, and you have to make awesome content that they enjoy. And if any of that part is broken, you're going to have a difficult time, or if you're not proficient yet at those things, then you're going to have a diff difficult time converting people into subscribers. So because of that, if you have to put your efforts on making sure that you are focusing on your skill development on making titles that thumbnail or making titles and thumbnails that people respond to, but also to make sure that you're creating a quality experience for the viewer and that you're making something awesome for, for the viewers that you're entertaining people. Because if you can't get that part right, there's no magic button. There's no thing that you can do to start generating more subscribers because it all comes from getting people to click because if they don't click, they're never going to see your content. They're never even going to have the opportunity to subscribe. So you have to be able to get them to click. And then once you get them to click, then you got to be able to deliver um, on their expectation that they got from the click and give them a, a piece of awesome content. So instead of thinking like, how do I get to 200 subscribers real quick or how do I get monetized quick? 
reframe your 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 thoughts on how you're on how you're approaching it. And instead of thinking, how do I get to a thousand subscribers? Think, what can I do in my titles to make them more appealing? What can I do to my thumbnails to make them more appealing? How can I grab people's attention more in the beginning of my video? Do I need an intro? Right? Do I need? Do I even need this? Why do I have this here? Um, how do I get into my content faster? As I'm delivering my content, how do I put it all out in a way that that is a more pleasant or a more engaging experience for the people that are watching it? How do I get people to watch another video, right? Like those are the things that you should be focusing on more instead of just thinking, how do I get more subscribers? Because those things, if you focus on those, subscribers are going to come, right? And then you can start fine tuning your, you know, like trying to get people to subscribe at a higher rate. But first, before anything else can happen, you got to get people to click because they don't click, then you don't even have a chance. But you got you to make sure that you're spending your time and focusing your skills in the right place. For tools and resources to help you with your YouTube channel, make sure you check the links in the description of this video. And to have your question answered live, join us Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern.